Anyone with a pet knows just how loving animals can be, how sweet and reassuring they are to have around. And sometimes, those same qualities that you appreciate in your pets can be what draws other animals to them as well. Animal friendships can cross over barriers without judgment. Who would have thought how easily different species could make friends? From a pair of pals who are climbing the walls to be together, to a gaggle of geese running a bodyguard duty for a piglet, here are 15 animal friendships you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Adorable friendship between elephant and dog. Now, size, well, it's not everything, and it surely doesn't seem to trouble this pair of buddies. In fact, you could say size is irrelevant. <laughs> Bubbles, the African elephant, and Bella, the black Labrador, are the best of friends, despite their mammoth size difference. Both animals live at the Myrtle Beach Safari Park in South Carolina and hang out with each other every day. The story of Bubbles is a sad one. She would be orphaned when poachers killed both of her parents. So then she was rescued and brought on the epic journey to the United States in order to begin her new life. A huge pool would be built for Bubbles to play in, and it just so happened that this was also how she would come to meet Bella. The contractor who was building the pool abandoned Bella the Labrador at the park when she was just a puppy. But the little dog, well, Bella wasn't alone for long. Brought together by their shared love of water, the dog and the elephant began to find ways to play together. You can see Bubbles throwing a ball and Bella jumping off of Bubbles' back to go catch it. It seems like a perfect match. Who would have ever thought it though? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Kitten Escapes Pet Store Display to Meet Its Lonely Dog Friend A story about a kitten and a puppy. It's just too cute. A puppy and a kitten in a pet shop in Taiwan had sparked up a friendship and they just couldn't wait to hang out together. It's clear from this footage that the baby cat and the little pup had spent some time in their enclosures right next door to each other, but with a screen of glass that kept them apart. The urge to play together had obviously become overwhelming for the young creatures. When the little kitten saw a potential way in, that's when it hatched a plan. The kitten takes a big daring leap and finds itself in the precarious position at the top of the glass with its paw sliding all over the place. It could go either way. She could flop back into her enclosure or end up stuck outside of both of them. But her buddy is there to help her out, calling encouragement and giddy with the prospect of them being together. So the cat manages to make the awkward maneuver over the top of one screen, around the bend, and then back down again into the puppy's booth. When she finally lands to safety with her friend, it's a massive relief, and just look at how happy they are to finally be together. That puppy couldn't wag its tail anymore if it tried. Number 13. Crow Loves Feeding Her Dog and Cat An unusually friendly white-winged crow is being oh so helpful that it's starting to get just the tiniest bit annoying. This eager-to-please bird is an Australian member of the crow family, and although she's wild, she would be rescued when her now owners found her injured at the side of the road. The bird's name is Cha-Cha, and nothing pleases her more than taking care of her dog and cat family. Does it sound bizarre? Well, it really is. Okay, come get some more Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha never did return to the wild as her injury meant that her wing would never fully recovery and as such she can't fly. But she's found a new family in Sky the dog and Kitten the cat. And she's so dedicated to bringing these big animals food and fussing over them that they can get a bit angry with her. She's a little bit bossy and won't accept it if her family doesn't do as they're told. Number 12. Adorable Puppy Loves Its Duck Buddy Well, isn't that just the most gosh darn 
cutest thing you've ever seen. This little puppy and its big duck friend just seem to get along like a house on fire. It's hard to say whether these cute animals are actually pals or if they're just trying to figure out if they're family or what. The little puppy's likely seeking a hug from a mama figure, and the duck just seems to fit into that role perfectly, even seeming to tolerate the puppy's playful nips at her feet. Honestly though, whose heart wouldn't just melt at the sight of a teeny fluffy pup having a ride on the back of a big feathery duck, even if it does look like it might just be hanging on for dear life. Not accusing anyone of anything, but a more cynical person might think that it looks ever so slightly staged. Not me though, no, no way. I know puppies absolutely, definitely ride around on ducks like that. It's super natural, nothing to see here. But I mean, then again, just look at them. Number 11. Geese protect pig from being bullied by other pigs. When there's an animal that's smaller or more weak than the others, it's sad to see that little creature get pushed around or left out when the others are around. And I guess that's how this flock of geese felt when they saw a poor little pig being picked on by the other pigs. Here's a pro tip for you. Don't mess with geese. These birds are aggressive, so it's good to know that they're putting up that feisty side of their personality to be somebody's bodyguard, and that somebody is a little pig. When this piglet was born, he was a lot smaller than the others in the litter, and he was also a different color. Those other pigs, just like playground bullies, picked on their sibling, pushing him around because he was different, and he couldn't get a look in at the feeding trough so they chased him off if he ever came near. It could have happened to just be a tragic story in the end. That is, if it wasn't for the unlikely friendship and protection that he would find with a gaggle of geese. Now, these big waddling birds didn't like the way that the little piggy was being treated, so then they took him under their wings. And now the pig spends his time with the geese, walks with them, eats with them, plays with them, and if those mean old big pigs get too close, well, they might get a right honking earful from the geese in the end. Number 10. A pigeon that can't fly befriends a puppy that can't walk. These two animals both had a tough start, but their friendship and the support of a rescue organization in Rochester, New York, has given them a hope for a new life. Herman is a pigeon who would be brought to Sue Rogers at the rescue center when he was discovered locally and people realized that the poor bird could no longer fly. Sadly, when this happens, it's usually an unfortunate occurrence and the pigeon would just likely be euthanized. But Rogers, well, she decided to take Herman home with her and try to give him a second chance. Around the same time, she had also taken in a chihuahua puppy named Lundy. Little Lundy had a problem with his spine that meant that he couldn't use his back legs. The poorly pair, a bird who can't fly and a dog who can't walk, would find an unexpected amount of comfort and friendship in each other. When Sue took photos of the cuddled up cute pair, she received an outpouring of good wishes, along with donations, in order to get the animals the veterinary care that they needed. With surgery and good care, Sue does hope that Lundy will be able to walk one day. Whether he'll be parted from his pigeon pal, though, is another matter altogether. It's just adorable. Number 9. Dog is exhausted after giving birth, so she asks her goose friend for help. Six puppies can be a lot for any mama dog to handle. But fortunately for this new parent, she had a faithful friend standing by and ready to help. That friend? Well, it was none other than a beautiful white goose. Despite geese having a reputation for, you know, being just a little bit grumpy, this one is the picture of patient placidity as she sits and watches over the tiny puppies. She settles in beside them so the puppies can snuggle up to the reassuring presence of a warm mama figure while their own canine mother takes a well-deserved rest. That's one heck of a babysitter and midwife right there. She doesn't even bat an eyelid when the wriggly babies clamber all over her. She just takes it all in stride, keeping careful to watch over the precious charges. This goose should start a babysitting business because she's got all the skills and calming influence to keep even a pile of puppies in order. There are definitely other frazzled parents out there who could do with that kind of home help, I'm sure. 
Number 8. Seeing Eye Cat Adopts Blind Dog as Best Friend When a woman named Judy adopted a stray cat named Putty Tat and introduced her to a dog named Turfle, their lives would all change for the better. That's how it can be with pets sometimes. They may be small, but they can make a massive impact. Turfle the dog is visually impaired and has suffered with cataracts that have made the little dog blind. He was finding it difficult to move around and would frequently bump into things, struggling to even take walks. But when Putty Tad arrived at her new home, she immediately understood the dog's difficulty and became his friend and seeing-eye cat. The clever feline supports Turfle to walk safely, taking him to play in the garden. She uses her paws to help the dog feel where to go and guides him around the house. Judy says that her pets are so attached to one another that they're now inseparable. The cat's instincts to support the disabled dog have changed both of their lives, from being an unwanted stray to giving her friend a new lease on life. This cat has been an absolute lifesaver. Isn't it amazing how animals can sense vulnerabilities and they even know what to do to help? Number 7. Rescued Cat, Rat, and Dog Just Can't Be Apart After Becoming Friends now, if this was a cartoon, then this unusual combination of creatures all hanging out together might make a little bit more sense. But this is a true story about a group of friends who have all defied every expectation. When a family had to move home, they were forced to give up their pets. So they took their beloved animals to the Oshkosh Area Humane Society shelter in Wisconsin. The pets were a dog named Sasha, a cat named Jack, and a rat named Tweaks. When the staff at the center attempted to examine the animals separately, it soon became very apparent that these guys were anxious to be back together. By putting the pets together, they calmed down and relaxed immediately. Most excitingly though, they were all adopted together, so the trio will continue to be there for each other. Now, the three are always together, sharing everything from dinner time to cozy kennels, offering each other emotional support and unconditional friendship in a way that we could all learn from. This unlikely mix of creatures, despite our preconceived ideas about them, actually adore each other. Honestly, have you ever seen a cat cuddling a rat before? And not in a so happy to eat you kind of way either. It's truly extraordinary. Number 6. Jack Russell and Jaguar Have an Unlikely Friendship When Jag the Jaguar first arrived at a lodge in South Africa, he was just a little baby, tiny little thing. And little babies, well, they need a lot of attention and love. And fortunately for Jag, there was a little dog who had a whole lot of both to give. Lodge owner Layla took the big cat in when he was very young, so he needed to spend a lot of time with her even when he was sleeping. But Layla found that a high-maintenance big cat needs a constant companion, so she introduced Jag to a feisty little Jack Russell Terrier named Bullet, and the pair became immediately inseparable. A jaguar is a powerful apex predator and usually would take out an animal of bullet size with the swipe of its majestic paw. But even as Jag would grow, he did not come aggressive with his canine buddy. And despite the size difference, there's actually no problem for these mismatched friends. They love hanging out in each other's company and do everything from eating and sleeping to even playing together. And even when they wrestle, you know, like brothers tend to do, Layla is never concerned that it could end badly because they really do love each other. Oh, you guys. Number 5. German Shepherd and Brown Bear are best friends. It looks as though we may need to rethink the old adage, dog is man's best friend, because so far we've seen dogs with friends as varied as elephants, birds, cats, and jaguars. So perhaps these lovable animals are really everyone's best friend. This next pair may be the most surprising yet though. A German Shepherd and a Brown Bear have found a friendship with each other that's full of playful fun. It's just too lovely to look at the bear with the hose pipe. The Brown Bear is named Tima and lives in Spain with his owner and a big friendly German Shepherd dog. Do you see what I mean about that old adage? Dog is a bear's best friend. 
Could it catch on, perhaps? Tima is a trained circus bear, so he's used to interacting with humans and other creatures. They travel the world together doing shows and performances, so they're very familiar with each other's company. This unorthodox pairing might not work so well with a wild bear. It could have quite a different result, perhaps with more than just water flying around. So here's a pro tip. Don't try to send your dog off into the woods looking for a bear buddy just yet. Number 4. Chimpanzee and White Tiger Become Best of Friends Times of terrible trauma do bring together animals and humans in the most unexpected of ways, and that's exactly what happened when two white tiger cubs would be born during a hurricane and their home was then suddenly engulfed in water. It all sounds kind of like a terrible disaster, and in many ways it was. The newborn cubs were separated from their mother, as the dramatic events going on around them would cause her great stress and she was sadly a threat to her babies. The cubs would be taken into the home of a keeper named China York, who took the animals to the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in South Carolina. The baby tigers could then get the care that they deserved and would soon be introduced to a chimpanzee. The ape immediately took a liking to the cubs and has become their surrogate mother since the day of the hurricane. Remarkable cross-species relationships do seem to happen when there's a vulnerable animal in need of support and an older, stronger animal that's able to offer it to them. Sometimes it really doesn't seem to matter what shape or size these guys are they can form a loving bond that lasts regardless. Number 3. Unusual Friendship Between Wolf and Bear Perhaps it's easier to see how unusual relationships happen between domesticated animals or pets that are living under the same roof, but occasionally there are surprising combinations of wild animals living in the natural world that seem to defy all logic and expectation. So when a Finnish photographer by the name of Lassie would spot a wolf and a bear spending time together, he was simply spellbound. And it really is an extraordinary sight. Although nobody can be quite sure how this apparent friendship came to be, it does appear that the wolf and the bear not only tolerate each other's presence, they actually seem to help each other out. The wolf is quite young, so it's possible that as it's not a threat to the bear and is perhaps alone in the world, the bear's actually offered some kind of kindness. It's unusual for a wild animal to actually share its food, especially with a completely different species. But these two animals are happy in each other's company and looking out for each other, just as you'd expect out of friends. Lassie actually spotted the pair every night for 10 days in a row and observed them spending many hours together. He thinks that perhaps the two young animals were otherwise alone and so they offered each other a way to learn to survive in the wild. However it came about, it's truly a beautiful friendship, and I think this might be my favorite one yet. I'm kind of feeling emotional about it. Number 2. Tortoise and Hippo Friendship Deepens Post Tsunami during the devastating tsunami of 2004, a baby hippopotamus would be separated from his family and left all alone in the wild. The terrible trauma of the loss of his family and then the dangerous operation to rescue him from being stranded on a reef left the little creature frightened and exhausted. Now with a new name, being Owen the Hippo, he was taken to Holler Park in Kenya. Owen would be released into the nature park and would immediately run to a giant 130-year-old tortoise named Z. The tortoise, although perhaps a little surprised by the sudden appearance of the hippopotamus, would actually be gentle and kind to the lost creature. The pair can be seen affectionately curled up together. They take daily walks throughout the park and hang out at the pond feeding and learning. They quickly became famous, drawing the interest of the world's press, and tourists who were keen to see the tortoise and the hippo were such great pals would flock from all over. The comfort and security that Z offers to Owen is so important during his time of need. The solid and reassuring presence of such an old timer would give the young orphaned hippo the confidence to grow and develop. Z is teaching the hippo about the world along the way, and after spending several years in the care of the giant tortoise, the hippopotamus was eventually able to join other hippos in the park. Number 1. 
giraffe and ostrich are best friends. Did you hear the one about the giraffe and the ostrich in a race? It was neck and neck the whole way. <clears throat> Tampa Bay in Florida is the site of this unlikely friendship, one that's overcome great heights to bring this pair of pals together. Living on the Serengeti Plain Safari, a 65-acre area of Busch Gardens theme park, B the giraffe and Wilma the ostrich have struck up a beautiful, even if unusual, friendship. Zookeepers would be surprised that the pair seem to be spending so much time together. After all, they have plenty of space to roam. And it did seem like they were really seeking out each other's company. Giraffes are especially fond of using their long black tongues in order to explore their surroundings. And that's exactly how Bee the Giraffe has expressed her interest and investigated the face of Wilma the Ostrich. It all sounds kind of intimate and perhaps even a little romantic. I guess if that giraffe tongue does it for you, you know. And it does seem as though it does it for Wilma. The pair are more or less inseparable despite their obvious differences and really, who are we to judge? That was a whole heap of cuteness to cram into such a short space of time. It's just so moving to see these fluffy fur balls making friends. I'm gonna have to take a minute here. I seem to have something in my eye. Do you think that we humans could maybe learn something about friendship from these animals? They seem to have a way of taking care of each other despite their differences, don't they? What do you think? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.